Welcome to another video guys. Today I'm pretty excited because um, this is a really cool little accessory to use with your Arduino. This is a very small, they list it as a 0.96 inch uh, screen. It looks a little bigger than that to me, diagonal measure. But anyways, it's a very small little screen. Um, it's very inexpensive. I paid $6.25 for this one shipped. And uh, that was from a U.S. seller. It wasn't a Chinese seller. I'll put a link down to, I'll write it down right now, to put a link to it down below. Link to screen. All right. And the resolution on this little guy is crazy. It uh, You get 128 by, what was it? 128 by 64 resolution. That's a lot of pixels to play around with. Um, so, and... It's also I squared C and there's no backlight or anything like that. And it's a beautiful little display. So I'm very excited to find this and I want to share it with everyone, show you exactly how to set it up quickly and easily and get up and running with it. So um, let's go ahead and go, let's go ahead and take a look at the screen first. You can see very simple on the front and then the only pins we have, VCC, ground, SCL, SDA. And then here's the back side. It's got some resistors and stuff like that. But yeah, not a whole lot to it, right? Not a whole lot to it. We're, all we're going to use are these little DuPont cables. These uh, female on one end, male on the other end. We're not even going to use a breadboard for this. So let's go ahead and open up our Arduino IDE. And I, I took any, any libraries that... That I needed for this, you know, to make this work, I took them off of my IDE so I could show you exactly how to install them. And up above, we'll just click on Tools and then Manage Libraries. There's two libraries to install. I'll list them down below too, just in case you have to do a manual install. One of them is Adafruit. SSD and it should complete the rest of it. Yeah, it's SSD 1306 OLED driver library. So we'll click install for that and it's already done. And then the other library, we don't need it for today's video, but you'll want to have it on your in your IDE for later because it's absolutely necessary to program. Uh, it's got a lot of like really good graphics functions and stuff you can use with OLED. As a matter of fact, we're going to devote at least one video, if not two, to this graphics library later. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, Adafruit GFX library by Adafruit. So, yeah, Lamore Freed from Adafruit, she did a really good job on those. They are awesome. I didn't buy my display from her, but they do sell them. I'll put a link in case you want to support them. I'll put a link to Adafruit's displays too. They cost more. As a matter of fact, I should probably buy one because of all the work they put in to this open source software that they share with everyone. So uh, yeah, so those are those are both installed. But as usual, I've mentioned this before. If, if I go to libraries here on the Mac, they're not here yet. So what you have to do, you have to close the IDE up. And then you reopen it. And now it's going to be there. Okay. Now if we go open, we'll see libraries. And here are the two libraries we just installed. So super easy to install those. Now there is one other thing we're going to have to do. All right. And I'm going to scratch out that code because we're going to use this little blank window here. I did a video on this before, how to find out the address of your I squared C device using an Arduino IDE. So you may want to refresh yourself if you don't already know. This is going to tell us what the device address is of this display. But before we do that, we need to hook it up, right? So it's this hookup is super easy. I'm going to use red. There's there's voltage. Um, 
let's see, let me turn it this way. Okay, VCC is the first pen, so I'm going to use red for that one. Okay, and then ground is the next pen, which I'm going to make brown, because that's what's here. I don't have a black one on this little group of cables. Alrighty, and then I'll just put these on whatever order they want to go on. They should back out a little bit. There we go. I'll tell you what. I'll line them up like this. This thing's kind of stiff. And I'll just make sure my VCC and ground are correct. The SCL is going to be orange. SDA is yellow. That's all I need to know. So, while I still remember, I'll hook that up. And that just goes right here at the end, SCL and SDA. S I said SCL is orange, is that right? Yep, SCL is orange, SDA is yellow. SCL is orange, SDA is yellow. Okay, there we go, those are in. And then we just need to connect our voltage and our ground right here and that's it all four connected now so I had to go ahead and do that real quick because we're gonna run this little sketch to figure out what the what the address of our device is so um, if you go to my video you click here I put up a little blog post with the code actually in it there's other places you can get the code too. I put it there just to keep it handy. All right, there we go. And I'll just copy that. And then we'll paste it in here. And then we'll upload it. Okay, sketch is uploaded. And then we just gotta go to tools and then the serial monitor and you'll see it tells us I squared C scanner, I squared C device found at address 0x3C, 0x3C. So I'm gonna write that down. And then we'll close that out and then we'll actually open, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll actually oh, go to libraries and then SSD 1306 and we're pretty much done now y'all except for one more little thing and they have several different models you can choose from here we're going to choose SSD 1306 128 by 64 I squared C because that's what we're using and then we just have to change the address in this code so it has screen width, screen height, that's all set correctly. Uh, it's including the graphics and the uh, SSD 1306 libraries. And then, let's see. Okay, the only thing we have to change is right here. SSD 1306 switch APVCC 0X3D. We got to make that a uh, 3C because that's the address of our of our device and yours may be different let's upload it and before I upload it let me zoom in actually I'll do a verify too while we're while I'm zooming in here so I think this is just a gorgeous gorgeous display I love it okay All right, looks like it verified fine. We'll upload and watch the show. This is pretty exciting though, because I mean, for $6.25, you have a canvas of 128 by 64 to do graphics on, and you can do a lot with, the, with that many pixels. It's still uploading, it's a big sketch. Uh, the video is flickering some, 
here in real life it doesn't flicker that's some kind of frequency refresh rate something or another but they're just showing some different uh, graphics functions that are available there now I've actually used that graphics library before it's pretty good it's gonna show some animations and these these animations are really pretty easy to do I actually did a uh, a clock before like a clock face with with a uh, a clock face with sweeping second hand and stuff like that but yeah these these animations are cool and you can do all this with that Adafruit graphics library it makes it really easy and there's her logo and then there's her logo a bunch of times that's not a horrible refresh rate for just a little microcontroller to draw on the screen right that's not bad not bad at all it's very reminiscent of the old uh, vintage microcomputers although I did look it up because I couldn't remember uh, this does have about half the resolution of like the Apple II and the Commodore 64 but look how small it is it, it's actually high res because of the size but yeah guys that is it um, find out the address of your of your thing here where you hook it up just like we did here Find out the address of your device and then install those two libraries and you're good to go. Hope y'all got a little something out of this. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.